The pandemic has changed a lot of graduation plans. At first, ceremonies were postponed. Then many of them were canceled. But a few are finding some way to make it happen. KCTV5's Betsy Webster takes us to one local commencement happening at the beginning of a heat wave. Thank you, sir. Parents started lining up an hour before gates opened, elated by the Raypec district's efforts to make this happen. We're so excited to be able to be out here and see our kids walk the stage. For some of us, this is the only child we have, and we want to get experience this ever again. And the fact that Raypec has put on a graduation like this and to be outside. It was the first year they've had it outside. We needed to contract for a stage, sound equipment, and figure out a way to stream the ceremony and plan for some safety measures. The grads all wore masks until seated in chairs that were spaced out. Guests were also masked up, only four guests per student this year instead of 10. And the grads got bottles of water because it's not the perfect weather for polyester caps and gowns. But that's the chance you take when you have to move commencement from May to July. There's a slight breeze, so that might make it a little more comfortable. And a small trade off to be able to do this at all. And the fact that they've changed our stadium into an amazing graduation is just brings tears to mama's eyes. We're grateful to be here. And uh, personally, I don't mind having to wear a mask if, if I get to see my, my son walk across the stage. Another way they're limiting the size of the crowd is having two ceremonies. Tonight was for last names ending A through L. The second half of the alphabet walks tomorrow. And sure, that's a bit of a bummer if your bestie's in the other group, but they're also streaming it on Facebook Live. And those moms I talked to say they'll be tuning in tomorrow as well to watch their other kids. Betsy Webster, KCTV 5 News.